Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I'm going to show you how to master making an outbound call. If I could show you in this video how to pick up the phone and call somebody who doesn't know that you're calling them and then do what you want them to do and come in and buy from you, would you watch the full video? Well, test me because I'm going to show you. Check it out. All right, so in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to make an outbound call. This is a cold call. This is a call to somebody who doesn't know who you are, and I'm going to show you how to get them to come in and buy from you. Now, you're going to want to pay very close attention during this video, okay? I have some language, some word tracks, the way I speak, the way I talk. I'm very, very good at what I do. I'm not being arrogant. I just, I know what I'm going to say before I need to say it, so I'm spot on. I'm like a sniper. I am going to get this client, the customer that I call, to say yes, yes, yes. Three yeses, then I'm going to set an appointment with them, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to call it phase one, phase two, phase three. So let's choose a kind of list that we're going to call. So are we going to call customers out of the service department that, you know, spent uh, $1,000 or more on their tickets and we're going to call them and try to get these people to come in and trade their cars in because, you know, they have a monthly payment plus they spent money out of their pocket? Are we going to call people that have been in the service department? Are we going to call customers that, you know, enter in credit applications or internet leads or phone calls and they didn't buy? We could call all these people. But I want to make this video about orphan owners. What is an orphan owner? To me, to me personally, and I know what it is to you, an orphan owner is when there's a customer and the salesman no longer works there. That's an orphan owner because they don't have an owner, which is the salesperson anymore because they don't work there. I think what an orphan owner is to me is a customer who is no longer getting called by a salesperson anymore. And that means that they're there, they bought from the dealership, they trust the dealership, but nobody's calling them. So that's an orphan owner to me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. That means that someone needs to be in charge of that customer and they need to call them. That's who I'm going to teach you how to call. So we're going to call this, we're going to print a list of orphan owners, which are people that have bought a car, okay, at the time I'm shooting this video, it's 2023, so we're going to say that my manager printed me a list of all the people that bought a car in 2019. You feel me? So what do I have? I have a list of people in front of me, and it says, Mr. Johnson bought a car 2019, uh, 2019 Honda Accord. You feel me? I'm going to call him, number one, phase one. I'm going to get him to say yes. Phase two, say yes. Phase three, say yes, set an appointment. So the phone call is kind of going to go like this. Ring, ring. Guy goes, hello. I'm going to say, hey, Mr. Johnson. This is phase one. Hey, Mr. Johnson, what's going on? It's Andy down here at ABC Honda where you bought your last car from. I was reviewing your account. I need about 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? He says, uh, sure, what's going on? I say, number one, do you still have the 2019 Honda Accord you bought from us back in 2020? Do you still have it? Uh, yeah, I've got it. Cool. Well, number two, my general manager, his name's Tommy, he wanted me to personally reach out and ask you one question if you still had it. If he was willing to offer you more money, more money than what your car was worth, would you mind if I told you how much that was? Can I tell you? He'll say, uh, no, Andy, I think I'm good right now. Hey, no problem. Real quick before we get off the phone, by the way, I appreciate you being a valued customer. If your house is worth $100,000, but someone is going to give you five hundred grand. Wouldn't you give him two minutes of your time? Just two minutes? Uh, yeah, I'd probably give him two minutes. Cool, that's all I need is Mr. Johnson is two minutes of your time. Look, if you had a winning lottery ticket in your pocket, would you wanna know how much it was for? I bet you would. Listen, that's what's going on right now. Basically, our owner has been writing over, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of equity checks, overpaying for people's cars this last month. He's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. So this is how this works. You come down here, literally two minutes, I'm gonna give you a crazy offer, blow your mind, and in the end, it's your decision. Does that sound fair? Can you give me two minutes? It doesn't matter if it's today or tomorrow. All I need you to do is come by, I'm gonna blow your mind. If he says, I'm not interested, you say, have a blessed day, call the next customer. If he says, I'll be there tomorrow, say, awesome, what time tomorrow? Also, I'm gonna take a picture of me, and I'll send it to you so you know who I am. Put a name with the face when you come in. I'm gonna text you my address to the dealership. So that way, when you, when you just get ready to head this way, you can press the button and the map will take you here. And then you'll see me, which you have a picture of me and you know my name. 
and that way you can deal with me directly when you get here so I can get you in and out of here fast. Is that fair? I'm going to blow your mind. I promise you I wouldn't waste your time. Right now, trade-ins are worth 20 to 30% more than they've ever been worth. We are literally going to blow your mind. That is a promise, okay? I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and that's it. Now, I want to go through these three yeses with you. By the way, I'm going to show you at the end of this video when they come into the dealership how to get them to say yes to buy a car. That's going to happen in this video. But let's go through phase one, phase two, phase three. Number one, hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Andy Elliott down at ABC Honda where you bought your last car from. I was reviewing your account. I need 30 seconds of your time. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? He says yes. I say, that's phase one. First yes. Okay, awesome. Number one, do you still have the 2019 Honda Accord you bought from us back in 2020? Do you still have it? Yes. Now, I've got two yeses. Now, what if he says no? Just say, hey, no problem. By the way, what'd you trade it in for? What do you have now? And just choose that vehicle. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, once you're done with that, phase three is that my general manager, write this down. My general manager wanted me to personally reach out and ask you one question if you still had that vehicle, which you do. If he was willing to offer you, write this down, if he was willing to offer you more money, now notice I said more money twice, more money, more money, I say it twice, than what your car was worth, and pop that word, worth. Would you mind, not can I tell you what you're trading? We're not calling it a trade-in. Say, would you mind if I told you how much that was? Would you mind if I told you how much that was? And then I want you to pop them back with, could I tell you? And they'll say, most of them will say, sure, you could tell me. And I say, awesome, ready? Awesome, write that down, awesome. Let me tell you how this works. That's how easy it is. Awesome, let me tell you how this works. My owner, my general manager already, already wrote hundreds of thousands of dollars in equity checks. Overpaying, my general manager wrote hundreds of thousands of dollars in checks. Overpaying for people's trade-ins. It's that simple that we're just like yours. He's getting so crazy, we're about to put him in a straight jacket. Ha, ha, ha. You're going to laugh. And then you're gonna say, so can you make it in right now or would after work be best? What's best for you? It's only gonna take about two minutes. Now, if they say, oh, well, can't you tell me on the phone? Say, no, actually, we can't tell you on the phone. My general manager, he's going to be here when you get here. He's gonna check out your vehicle and then he's gonna blow your mind with an offer. By the way, everybody write this down, by the way, if you had a winning lottery ticket in your pocket, wouldn't you wanna know how much it was worth? Absolutely. Don't make him answer, you answer. You say, absolutely. So here's what I need you to do. I need you to come down. It's gonna take about two minutes. I'm gonna blow your mind and in the end it's your decision. I promise you, this is gonna, this is gonna blow your mind. That's it. Now this system right here is made to generate appointments, okay? Instead of sitting on your butt like a fisherman waiting for something to bite as a car salesman in your dealership, you're going to be like a lion now hunting, okay? And you were on your phone and you were dialing. Got a non-negotiable when I sold. It was make 100 to 200 dials a day, you choose or sell one or two cars, okay? My deal is I made $200 a day or sold three cars. But you can choose, you're either gonna make X amount of dials or sell X amount of cars. By the way, that's called a non-negotiable, which means it's not for negotiation. You feel me? Okay, now, can you see us setting some appointments? Yes, you can, I know you can. And can you memorize this? And can you say it easy? And can you say it well? And can you do a good job? Yes. I'm gonna show you how to sell an additional 10, 15, 20 cars a month by using this. Only though, if you can get them to say, yes, I wanna buy something when they get there. You ready for that? Okay, so it goes like this. So the client shows up, you're gonna say, hey, Mr. Johnson, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott, I spoke to you on the phone. By the way, it means everything to me that you came down. Come on inside. By the way, what can I get you to drink? Something hot or cold to drink, what would you like? Get them something to drink, have them have a seat. When they sit down, say, awesome. So Mr. Johnson, I'm gonna go get some information off your vehicle, I'm gonna give it to my GM, I'm gonna blow your mind, okay? By the way, don't go drink coffee now and hang out with your buddies. Go shoot out to the car. Go get all the information off the car, check out the vehicle, look at all of it. Does, does it have dip spit on the floor? Is the dash lit up like a Christmas tree? Are the tires bald? Does it look like they're taken great care of and it's in awesome shape? Right? Like, take a look at it, like, consciously pay attention. You're gonna get all the information off of it. Now, are you going to go get your manager? No. You don't need your manager. You need to listen to me and I'm gonna show you what to do. You're going to walk into the manager's sales tower and you're going to ditch those keys out of your hand. Get them out of your hand. Get those keys gone. Now, once the keys are gone, what do I got in my hand? I got a trade appraisal. 
I ditched the keys, and I'm going to go back over to Mr. Johnson. I'm going to say, hey, Mr. Johnson, remember I talked to you? I said, remember Tom, my general manager, who's going to go check out your vehicle? He's about to go drive it right now. Hypothetically, write that down. Hypothetically, I want to ask you a question. If my general manager, Tom, came over here and made you a crazy offer, Mr. Johnson, and you were like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. Let's say you said that to me, right? What would you drive home in? Would it be something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty? What would it be? And smile and be quiet. What did I say? Newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more, more warranty? What would it be? Be quiet. They'll say, it'd be something bigger. Boom, baby, it must be your birthday because Big Daddy's got something bigger I want to show you. Let's roll. I'm going to just go outside and go sell him a car. What would it be? Will be something um, you know newer. Okay, when you say newer, you mean brand new or just maybe a couple years up newer? Probably a couple years up newer. Okay, cool. Max miles you want to go with. Maybe 50,000 or under. What are you thinking? Yeah, 50,000 or under. Now listen, would you stay with the same kind of body style you got now or would you be open to change as long as it has enough room kind of like what you got now? I don't know, it just has to be a Ford or a Chevy. Okay, you know what? Is it your birthday today? Because I got a birthday present for you. Come on, man. Hey, you must have a magic rabbit foot in your pocket because it's your lucky day. Let's go. That's it. I'm going to tell you how this plays out. People always want to spend money. They do. They're addicted to it. Okay? They're sitting in their house or sitting at work. People love upgrading cars. They love trading them in and people love spending money. So that's where you become important. You just got to become a professional. Now, when you get them into the dealership, do you think on the way into the dealership, they thought, what if this guy gives me a lot of money? What would I do? Would I trade it in? Yeah, because they don't need two cars and they can't walk home. So they're going to trade it in. So guess what? They've already thought about it and manifested doing something if you, if you did give them the right number. Now, did we even give them a number yet? No, because it doesn't really matter. Because I know your managers and your GMs and your owners are going to fight like crazy to make sure they buy this trade-in off these people and give them enough money. You feel me? Trust me, as much as it costs right now to acquire a trade-in, right, or to go to an auction and buy one and then recondition it and pay the auction fees, and then also, you know, like have it delivered to your company, which is called shipping. Like it's a lot of money. So right now managers are trying their best to require trade-ins that are sitting in front of their face, which you've just done. And by the way, is this client in front of you? Did you ask the right questions? And by the way, let's say my general manager came in hypothetically and made you a crazy offer and you were like, you know what? Get your checkbook out because I'm selling it. Let's say you said that, right? What would you drive home in? Something newer, bigger, smaller, lower miles, better gas mileage, more warranty, what would it be? You guys get it? Now listen, one of the reasons why when I sold, I averaged 70 to 80 cars a month consistently, I knew how to work my service drive, okay? I, I knew how to make outbound calls and I knew how to take inbound calls. These things are what made me dangerous, simple, okay? Being deadly on the service drive, taking inbound calls and making outbound calls. And by the way, most of the people that were living and dying by the gate, they average 15 cars a month at best. And here I am averaging 70 to 80. If you want to be the best in the world, you're going to have to learn to do things that most normal salespeople can't do. And I just taught it to you. By the way, if you feel like you've got value from this video, do you feel like you got some value? Right now, I want you to comment below. Say, Andy, appreciate it, man. Dude, that was straight fire. Love you. By the way, share it with the buddy. Share it with a friend. Watch the video a hundred times until you memorize it. But more importantly, I want you to text me. If you feel like, I would say my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. If you feel like, Andy, I would love for you to teach me more. I need more of this. I need it all. Everything you have in your head, I want you to dump out. I want to, I want to know it all. And I want it now. What took you 25 years to learn, I want it now. I want you to shoot me a text message. Shoot me a text at 918 210-0254. Take the time to write this down right now. Write down my cell phone. 918-210-0254. I want to send you some information on Project 500. Project 500 is my training system that teaches sales pros that are the best in the world how to earn a half a million dollars a year. Now, I want you to understand something. I don't care about who you are. I don't care where you came from, and I don't care if you're down to your last couple hundred dollars in your pocket. 
You qualify to have a great life, and I assure you that the difference between poor people and rich people is resourcefulness. And I want you to use me as a, res as a resource to be the best in the world and to dominate. So I love you guys. I got your back for life. Shoot me a text. I can't wait to talk to you, and let's kill it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.